Well, as you can see, things are pretty lively in New York yeah, right now. You've got, a, heated, wasn't it? you've got a New York senator and a New York tycoon clashing in the biggest battle of all time for the White House. We're joined now by former Democratic mayor, TV superstar Jerry Springer. Welcome to you, Jerry. Good morning. Thank and good by morning. best selling New York Times author, whose new book, In Trump We Trust <laughs> and Coulter, a Trump supporter. Welcome to both of you. Yeah, welcome uh, to Jerry, you. let's start yes. with you. Is this the most divisive, nasty election that you can remember? Yes, and uh, but it's also the most important one because I would say, and I have obviously a liberal bias, but I have I would say that this isn't about Democrat versus Republican or liberal versus conservative. This is really about the first time we've had a major party candidate for president running in a sense opposed to the idea of America, opposed to the concept that we're the one place on earth where it wouldn't matter what your religion is, it wouldn't matter where your parents were from. Uh, you know, the, the uh, Declaration of Independence, the Statue of Liberty, metaphorically speaking, he seems to want to replace the Statue of Liberty with a wall. That seems to many of us so un-American, it's not what, how the world sees us or how we see ourselves. And that's what this election is about. And I think in Europe, I think in England, they probably, you probably look at us and say, is Trump really going to be president? Because it just seems so against what we want well, to do. To be honest, we're, we're in no position to be lecturing anybody about politics right now. We're a complete basket case ourselves. And uh, your yeah. book is In Trump We Trust. There are lots of people, including one of our voters who we just spoke to a couple of hours ago, member of the Republican Party, can't bring himself to vote for Donald Trump. Why would he be a good choice as president? We're think? getting rid of all the dead wood with Donald Trump. Um, he, he really has shaken up politics. It isn't the, the Democrats and the Republicans so much anymore. It is the ruling class against the American people, and he's representing the American people. There are going to be so many Democrats voting for him. According to all the recent polls, 70 percent of Americans don't like the way the country is going. That's after eight years of Democratic presidency under Barack Obama. Why are so many Americans disaffected okay, it depends, with what is happening here? In fairness, it depends how you ask the question, because uh, as of yesterday, what was it, 56 percent of um, Americans approve of the job that Bar uh, Barack Which Obama Which is very has high at this stage it, of there's, presidency. There's, it, there's never been a higher one. So he's personally quite popular, well, the point yet, yet many people in America, maybe not so much here in New York, a very prosperous, yeah. well-heeled city, but many people in middle America, for whatever there are reason, people don't hurting. like the way the country's going. Why? There are people hurting, but if for the last 40 years in America, we have been inundated by political commercials on both sides saying that every politician is horrible, is a pervert, is corrupt. Uh, every commercial... They don't be you far off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> every, well, we've raised two generations of Americans to hate the government, to hate Washington, to disrespect the president. If you do that day in and day out, you only have campaigns for six weeks. Right. We have it mm. year-round. You raise people to believe this. After a while, you can't then be shocked to think that, gee, if you take a poll, people think the country's in trouble. Mm. But I, I don't think they're that suggestible. And I think your point is even stronger than, than the way you put it. We've, fought, we've just had eight years of a Republican followed by eight years of a Democrat. Trump comes along and sees lots of problems that aren't being addressed namely immigration, 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 building a wall on the border, the jobs, manufacturing jobs. We used to have 20 million just in the 1980s, 20 million with a much larger population. There, there are about 10 million now, and now more will go under the Trans-Pacific Partnership. But the wall, the fact that the country is just the open borders, Trump comes along and, and takes the most popular side of every issue but that neither the Republicans or the Democrats will take. And by the way, both Republicans and Democrats claim they're going to deal with it. They both claim they're going to take care of border security. Mm -hmm. they cl but then they get into office, both Republicans and Democrats, I would say, and say, Wall Street, what do you need? So, Jerry, you so Jerry, 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 let, let me ask you this, Jerry. You've been in politics a long time. You were a mayor in yeah. Cincinnati for uh, nearly yeah. a decade. So you, you know how politics works. There is, in Britain, now in America, parts of Europe, there is a rising tide of populism, of populist candidates challenging the convention of politics and reinventing the mm. wheel, if you like. Is that such a bad thing? Washington's so intransigent now, so little actually gets done. Could it not do with somebody like Trump just shaking it all up? Well, you don't take a bat to a beehive. Why not? If that, 
Well, because the bees, because <laughs> be everybody very gets stung. Yeah, because, or you might a, kill a lot of bees. You no, know, <laughs> yeah. Well, that's exactly what's happening. The point is, we are, we Americans believe, and I, born in England, I'm an immigrant, and I born in Hampstead Tube Station. Yes, you're one and, of us. Okay. <laughs> and the point is, what got my parents to come here? you know, after the Holocaust and everything, what got them to come here was this was supposed to be the one place on earth where everybody was welcome. That's the, we're the only nation in the history of the world to be created by an idea. Every other country started out as a tribe that wanted suddenly more land, became an empire or whatever. America was first an idea, Declaration of Independence, Bill of Rights, etc. And we have a destination to get there. We didn't start out there. That's what we're about. Okay. That's totally contrary to history. To have that is not someone, what America is. Just America is a journey. This was an invented it is a, 20 no, years is, ago, this idea business. Oh, my God. No. <laughs> not an argument. Good. Okay. 